losing my love for you. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're gonna do a quick story time of the birth of little Liam. Baby son. I'm um, so in here. Well, he's sleeping right now. So if he wakes up while we're recording this, we'll, we'll bring him over. Um, so usually on birth stories or whatever, the, the husbands are not present. I don't understand why, but um, usually the husbands are not present. I don't understand why, but mine is here. Cause he kind of has to be here to tell his side of the story um so yeah let's just uh get straight to it i guess mm -hmm. okay so um liam came two weeks early three two weeks early three weeks early he, he was due on the 10th he came the 28th of august of august he was due, he was due september 10th so he came three weeks early and that's why I guess, it but it's kind of like two. It, no, three. Three weeks early, and that's why it took us off guard. Because he was supposed to be doing, he was doing on a Monday as well. It's definitely three weeks early. Um, took us off guard because of that. And, you know, basically, it was, it was 9 o'clock in the morning. You know, I'm late to work. I'm getting ready to leave the house. And she's like, I think I'm having contractions. And, and you know, I'm like, No, that's not, that's not how it went. That's not how it went. That okay, how it went. no, that's not how it went. This is how why the husbands aren't went. present. How so, okay, he's, wait, it's not focused. Okay, so he's rushing to get to work or whatever. And mm, I don't know so if this is like TMI, mm -hmm. but like I went to use the bathroom. Oh, yeah, 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 and so. yeah, some people don't like that word apparently, but I lost my mucus plug, TMI, but I lost that. And I was like, oh, OMG, I lost a lot this time. And there was like, like he said, there was a little bit of blood. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, it might actually be time. But according to like um, the internet and stuff like that, just because you have a blade show doesn't necessarily mean you're about to have the baby right now. So. But as soon as, no, but as soon as I came in the room and I told you immediately, like right after that, I started having contractions. And I feel like my story is correct so far. No, because so you <laughs> from, from her telling me she's starting to feel like she's having contractions, she felt a little pain in her stomach whatever so from you know plus the bloody show she I called my mom she called her mom yeah um, I don't remember that part yeah I called my mom to tell her like what was going on and she told me to call um, my doctor's I office yep mm -hmm. and I called my doctor's office I let them know what was going on and they were like okay you can either come to the office or you can go to the hospital I was not about to go to the hospital because you know the hospital is like mm -hmm. they probably were just gonna send me to the emergency room and we would have been there all day and I don't got time Sitting for that around. so I was like okay I'll just go go into the office so did you call off work or did you let them know you were late um, I let them know that you were late the situation. or yeah I let yeah them know the situation and I, and I told them that um we called the doctor and the doctor said we should go in and I told him I'm gonna be late late for work because of that and yeah. then um, they just said okay and, you know this is more important so me and her got in the car I drove obviously she couldn't drive um, usually Julissa always drives but I drove because <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> so he drives drove. too slow <laughs> I drove um, we got there um, and then the doctor checked her. Um, the doctor yeah. checked her, her, and basically, after he did so, he's like, "Yep, bloody show." He said, "This this baby's coming, probably later on tonight." Or or baby. the next morning. Yeah, he um, said I was three centimeters dilated. So. Um, and the week before that, I was only a centimeter and a mm -hmm. half dilated. Mm -hmm. So, just that alone, we were like, oh, "Okay, this baby's like." He's really coming. Um, mm -hmm. Focus. Focus. Okay, where were we? Um, um, I don't even know. Um, the doctor's office, 9 a.m. He said the so he said the baby was coming. Yeah. Um, and basically, she was. Um, long story short, she had contractions from nine o'clock Monday all the way until nine o'clock the following day, Tuesday, when he was born. So she was in. She. Yeah. She basically had contractions for 24 hours. So. 24 hours of pain. 
<laughs> That's what that was. So the plan was to, you know, do natural, not have an epidural or anything like that. But that didn't that didn't pan out very well. Um, so after we left the doctor's office, they sent us home. They said contract as long as you possibly can at home. And then when you feel like you can't take it anymore or something like that, then head to the hospital. Um, Chris, at this point, Chris was debating whether or not he should go to work. And I was just kind of like, no, don't go to work because I like this is my first time. I don't want to be like stuck at home and then something happened and the battery's dying. Are you kidding me? Um, something happened and, um, you know, I'm stuck at home in labor and, and whatnot. So, um, from, my, from my frame of thought, I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe he ain't come days three three weeks early. He I was, was thinking, in denial. Maybe not gonna come, uh, you know. So I was in denial. Then I was thinking about the money. I'm like, I need money for the baby, <laughs> <laughs> so we all can survive and do whatever we have to do and live. You know? But from how serious the doctor cute. made it to me, I was just like, okay, no, nah, this baby's probably gonna come, and you need to, um, or oh, I need to take off. And I called my boss back, took off, and then I was just in the hospital by her side the whole time. The whole um, time. I nodded off. I felt like I was nodding off. I feel like you're there. skipping ahead. Okay, so like, yeah, I contracted I'm until. Ahead of myself. <laughs> so okay, where we kind of live, the hospital's not too far, but considering the time frame, and it was a Monday, we knew we was gonna hit that Monday morning traffic, like the rush hour traffic. So we kind of left around. We left at four. We actually left kind of late, but we had just missed the traffic and we got to the hospital and they pretty much had me in triage for a little bit. Um, basically, they were like, uh, you're not dilated enough um, for them to kind of do anything. And funny thing is, so if anybody believes that um, the whole full moon thing, I, I definitely went into labor during a full moon. So mm -hmm. maybe, maybe it's a real thing. And it was crazy because as we were coming and there were other women coming, coming in, in at the same yeah. time and already there ahead yeah. of us. They were, they were full. They, they were, were full. They didn't have no rooms to give me. So we were in triage like all night. Mm -hmm. and Basically, you have to be past five centimeters for them to take you from triage to the next. Or no, no, it's not that you have to be past, but you have to be, you have to be showing progress. And for me, I was stuck at mm -hmm. three centimeters. She said once you get, once she was waiting for you to get past three. Yeah, but I was stuck at three for like, so mind you, she, contraction started at 9 a.m. She was only taking and, that hit five, five and up. Well, so yeah, it's it like, it did kind of five. Yeah, that's true. I heard her, well, you know, I was listening. She was checking other people and she would announce it. Oh, you're at three. Oh, you're at two. And then anybody that was at three or two. Yeah. They, she, they, yeah. They, they even sent a lady home. She was at two, sent her home. Yeah. Um, it was somebody else came. It was just, you know, different people come in and you're just listening and, mm -hmm. you know. And they tried to send me home. I was like, I'm not having that. You're not yeah. sending me home. I was like, nope, I don't feel comfortable going home. I told her whatever I needed to tell her to show that she would not send me home because I was like, it's so, not happening. I'm not so going home. With the time we had, we, um, we, we walked. Yep. Um, we walked. I'll show we you a clip of that. With, um, her mother, she walked with us as well and, you know to bear down on the baby and try to get the, you know speed yeah. up the progress um even that didn't help us. i still was at three centimeters <laughs> Nobody near me to talk to. So we're in triage. Today's the day. And, huh? Today's the day. Today's the day. You know. Um, she's about uh three centimeters dilated and contractions are five to seven minutes. Sleepy. <laughs> oh, God, I 
look that big? Yeah, you're, you're really yeah. big. So, yeah. A little bit. Okay, we're at the hospital. It's almost time for my grandbaby. <laughs> this is a trooper. <laughs> She's fighting through these contractions. Good job. Chris is a good support person. <laughs> We've been walking for how long? 45 minutes maybe? About 50 minutes. We've been walking for 50 minutes. Try to help her dilate some more. <laughs> you guys going out? Yeah, I guess. I'm going to walk her later this. What did she say? She said just come back to the place, right? Mm -hmm. Say hi yeah. to everybody. Yeah, say hi to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Oh. When you're ready. If I ever make it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make it. Oh, I forgot to breathe. Breathe. Yeah, breathe, girl. You gotta remind me to breathe. Can you hold your breath. A little bit. Thank you. Wait, if I'm punching you up, it's just me. What are you gonna do? You gonna? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Proud Papa. He's greeting everybody. <laughs> We're going to meet the family. Say hello before Jalissa goes back in. No trip. I'm ready. I told you that. I said by the time Kasim gets here late, he's gonna be like 10. <laughs> we, this is shift one. We are here, it's the early shift. <laughs> and early shift will leave and come see Liam tomorrow when he's here. Because <laughs> by the time, unless he's, he's probably like it's one o'clock in the morning now, it's time. Perfect time. Perfect time while everybody's coming. It felt like walked like a mile. We didn't almost. see progress until. So, okay. So, like I said, I wanted to do it natural. So, I didn't take any kind of drugs. I just kept having, you know, regular contractions, whatever. Mm. Then it got really bad. Like, it got really bad to the point where I was like pretty much hollering and crying. And, and I was annoyed because there was a lady in the next room and I can hear her and every time I would contract, she would contract. So I would be screaming and then she would be screaming. And I was so annoyed, <laughs> I was just so annoyed. And um, the last time the doctor had checked me, I was still at three. And at this point I'm like, okay, I have to be making progress because this crap is painful. And uh, I think I told Chris, I was like, go get the nurse. Cause she offered me some drug. I don't remember what it was. I really don't remember what it was. And I was just like, go get the nurse, tell her I want the drugs. I don't even know what it was. I don't care. I want it. And he was like, okay, okay. So he went to go get the nurse. And she, he comes back and he's like, oh, she said, um, just give her a minute or something. I swear, like 15 to 20, maybe 30 minutes went by. And I looked at him and I was like, go get the nurse. Where is the nurse? Like, where is the nurse? I don't understand what it's taking her so long. I don't understand that. Sorry guys, phone died. I mean, camera died. Now now we're on the phone. So if the quality is different, that's what it is. But I gotta get this video out because it's been long camera overdue. Died, guys. I already said that. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, as we were saying, um, contractions were getting bad. Went to go get the nurse because she was taking forever. And she finally came. Um, I asked her to check me um, because I had asked her to check me before in between all of this and she was like oh we only check um, every once in a while because what, what was it I think she said something like um, possible infection or some some I don't care what the excuse was whatever um, I was just like yo check me it's basically you know I think it's they can 
beating it up to the point where, like, you know, it's bad. Like, they can, they check you, and then they can break you or whatever. I didn't care. Yeah, that, the I mean, contractions hurt, sure. and I wanted her to hurry up, and she but, was just um, taking too long. Anyway. So when I went to go see the lady. The second time. Sec the second, first and second time, they were just chilling, really. It was on a computer, you know, typing away. They don't give two craps really, about people in really labor. no rush about it. They just was, um, you know, doing their nurse Stuff. So she comes and she checks me this yeah, time nurses. and nurse, right? she was like, okay, you're five. And she was like, do you want the epidural? And I was like, yes. <laughs> at this point, I didn't care. I, at this point, I didn't care about, because at first I didn't want it because I was scared about the needle. I was scared about all the stuff I've heard, like, you know, the complications, the bed, hurting your back, all of that. Just, I was just like, give it to me. I don't care. I don't want to feel this. Give me, give me the, the epidural. And they moved me from mm. triage finally to a room that opened up, um, which even that I felt like they was taking forever because I feel like I still sat there for like another 15 to 20 minutes waiting for them to hurry up and move me. They moved me to an actual room this time. And um, they moved me to an actual room. And from there, getting the epidural, it was, I don't know, it was scary kind of because the whole time I was thinking like, I better keep still. I don't want to, like, you know, mess anything up. Uh, my family was there. Okay, yeah. Liam, you'll get your time to shine. That's right. <laughs> um, the family was, my whole family was there. They were so supportive. Mm -hmm. Chris was by my side, like he said, the whole entire time. Like, Chris was on it. Anytime the nurses was doing anything, he was asking them, what, what is that? What's it for? What are you giving her now? He was running to get me ice and juice, all of that, everything, blankets, hot, hot warm blankets, right, <laughs> right out, everything. Steam, um, box, whatever. So fast forward. After she got the epidural, I do remember. Um, I think this is at this time we was allowed to have like one or two more people back at a time. I think it's four, like four people. Four, in the room. yeah. Um, so I believe your mom came back, and yep. at that time, that's when I was like, Time I'm to sleep. Nod off. <laughs> so I nodded off for like an hour or two because she wasn't in. Because before, you know, she, it, I was just kept awake because she was in pain. So she would grab yeah. my hand and squeeze the life out of it. And, you know, I didn't think, I thought that was fake. That is real. And, <laughs> you know, and that just jolts you away. Just from you know, she's just squeezing my hand. I'm just like, I'm here, baby. You got it. You got it. You know, be support because she couldn't. But. Once she got the epidural, she was able to relax more. And yeah. And she was able to see Definitely. not off herself for yeah. a little while. Um, you know, she's still having contractions. You can see it on the little machine they had yeah. next to us. And you can still feel it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then before you knew it, I remember waking up, you know, two hours or so later. They're checking and they're like, yeah. oh, you're at eight or nine. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think it was nine. I think, I think it, was it was nine. nine. Yeah, it's because because like uh, I don't think I feel like and when then they were like, oh, we're, we're about to be ready to push, you know. Yeah. At um, this point, it's like what six in the morning, mm -hmm. six seven in the morning, maybe. No, so, no way. Well, no, she, it had to be like eight in the morning because he was eight. born at nine. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. around eight. So, so they eight did ish? check me around like maybe six in the morning or something like that, mm -hmm. and I was only at like six. Yeah. So it was crazy to go from six to now it's like eight o'clock and I'm at nine centimeters. Mm -hmm. And Jumped they were like, they're like, okay. And then the doctor, finally my doctor got there. Um, he broke my water. Um, Cause it wasn't, he was like, well, let's just speed things along. He broke the water. She was like, okay, you want to do a trial push? <laughs> and um, I just, I was like, okay. And they basically tell you to push like, you know, Push like you, you gotta go, number two, so, okay? So, so, I'm gonna let you go ahead and tell your perspective of um, him being born. Okay. At, after that, you know, at this point, and then I'm gonna tell mine. Okay, so, they gave, okay, so starting from after he broke my water. He broke my water, um, they're waiting, now they're waiting for Liam's head to kind of come down. So they give me this peanut ball, and I had to, like, put my legs around it, like, like so. And, um... I'm just waiting for him to kind of come down. Then he comes down, whatever. And she's like, okay, you want to do a trial push? And I'm trying to remember everything that I watched on like a, a birthing class. Um, breathing or whatever and, you know, pushing and stuff. 
and they're like okay you're doing good you're doing good and then in my head the whole time i'm thinking like yo i'm really about to be here for like 45 to three hours pushing because they say first time moms spend about that much time pushing and i was like yo i'm not trying to be here <laughs> for three hours pushing so i was pushing with all my might but the funny thing was i was quiet and they were like come on put some put some effort into it and i'm like i am pushing with all my might i don't need to be moaning and groaning just to like push i don't understand um i did want to see him come out but nobody asked me for the big mirror thing i don't know if that's an old school thing or what but like nobody asked me so I didn't get to see that. Um, but basically I, um, and also I thought that the people that were supporting me were gonna hold my legs up. So I was like, okay, Chris holds one leg, my mom holds the other leg. No, I had to all hold my own legs, of which I could not feel, okay? These legs, what, you don't remember that part? I definitely held a leg. Not really. No, I definitely had I had leg. to hold my legs and she bear had, down. She had the thing up, but I was holding a leg. Stand. Barely. No, I was Barely holding, holding a, leg. a leg. When it was time to push, I was, no, no. no. I was on one side holding a leg, and then the nurse was on the other side holding a leg. You mm -mm. did have the machine mm -mm. up just in case. No, you know, hey, that's, not that that's not how that worked. That's not how that went. No, I disagree. When I, I had to push, right when I had to push, I, right I had to hold my legs and push which was really hard because like i said i can't feel them and then on top of that they were really heavy so um bearing down and pushing i probably did like mm, maybe like three pushes or so maybe like 15 minutes because he had to wait for the contraction so maybe about 15 minutes of pushing and then he was out okay my turn He's she was on drugs basically you know <laughs> so she might not remember but um, I remember very clear. She was very at ease during the whole 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 time because of the because um, <laughs> the epidural. The door she got, so she was just like relaxed. And then you know when it was time to push, I I did help hold a leg, and then the nurse was on the other side holding a leg. Um, she was a nice nurse. She did a good job. Oh um, uh, yeah. And then um, you know it it was like effortlessly it seemed at first it was just like you know it was like almost 10 to 12 pushes and the baby was out you know Liam was here and then, um during the process it was just like you know she would tell her to push really quick and then you know she would she would ease up and then you you know I'm standing right there looking at it you just see his little top of his dome is his hair just coming out you know um and it was crazy I just didn't I was just and you know at times I forgot to even be like baby push push to <laughs> say it because i was just in awe of what's going on I, and you know i snapped back into it and it was like okay push push once i heard the nurse and the doctor telling her to put him like, oh push <laughs> so you know she did a great job tremendous job giving birth to him and she pushed and you know before you know it you know she had most of his head out and then it was like another great big push and his whole body just came out and he did like a spin as he came out and then you know his arms was wagging around everywhere and he just did a spin came out and she just plopped him on on Jalissa's chest and you know Jalissa tried to hold him but she couldn't really the um, way the way she put him on my chest like okay if you're the doctor if you the viewer are the doctor and I'm laying like this she put him facing you guys not me so it was just kind of odd because i'm like okay he's not even facing me i can't see his face you know yeah. he was kind um, of facing like sideways yeah like he was facing like, like that way over sideways, there yeah know? it was just and weird i guess she was trying to put him in a cradle position like that but it was the way he was laying it was yeah. kind of sideways um but she couldn't really you know like when he when he came out um you know how mother's like, oh my god my baby give it yeah no, i didn't do I, that and i think yeah. it was mainly because she was so she was too at ease because of the, the um okay. the epidural basically um you know had her a little wobbly you know and she didn't really you know she was like oh the baby but she didn't like yeah it didn't set into later on from my expression after that i was just like i felt like it was crazy i felt like it was like a it's like every like everything around everything just went like Slow death. Mo, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't hear anything. It was like so once yeah. he came out, I couldn't hear anything except for him hollering. He came out. He was screaming. He was he screamed as soon as he came out. He used the bombs. It, it sounds so just like that. <laughs> it sounds so surreal, you know, to hear his voice. Yeah. And,
Daddy. Right in between the metal and the plastic. Okay, no fire. It's gushy. Go ahead. Uh huh. Yep, keep going. One more. Nice work. Daddy, you're being a parent now. <laughs> I'm tired right now. <laughs> and she But he will hatch. That's good. I was worried about that. She did great. She was a champ. It was like it was like ten pushes and it was done. Mm. It's crazy. I am too, too, too happy. Mm -hmm. I feel like he looks like Brittany a little bit, but that's because you know what Brittany looks like. Mm -hmm. After Jalissa held him, they, um, as they were, as Jalissa was holding him, I, um, they asked me if I wanted to cut the cord. So I was like, hey, yeah, I want to cut the cord. Yeah. They gave me the scissors. They showed me where to cut. They guided me. I paused for a second because I was like, wait a minute. Because, you know, you, you want to wait. I was reading somehow you want to wait until it stops pulsating so the baby gets I don't remember this a good well. amount of blood. So I tried to pause, you know, and it was like, no, it's fine. Go ahead. So I went to cut it. So mm -hmm. as I cut it, it was like cutting a little piece of like beef jerky almost. It's yeah. like, you know, you, you had to get in, but it was like leathery and you had to get in there. <laughs> and you know, it took me a couple snips, one, two, three snips, and then finally. Mm -hmm. I think free. after that, I think they took him and wiped him down they and took did him. stuff. Yeah, they took him. He was all, he's already pretty clean. Yeah, he baby. was clean. He came, he came out, out real clean. He had no cream or nothing on him. Yeah. He came out like he was. He just came out wet. Yeah. He came out like he was, he He's already bathing everything, <laughs> right? Or something, you know, like so. Um, they when they took him, um, they wrapped him up. They took him into um, this. It's just like, it, a, little it's like section, a little section, yeah, still inside in the, the room, room which yeah. I like they, the baby doesn't leave the room as soon as you have him. So they took him to the section. I walk over to the section, to see what's going on um, of the room. It's still in all the same room, so that she could look over and still see us. So, um, yeah. And then that's when they um, proceeded to do. Um, the get the placenta out after that. Yeah, um, they did all of that. I sped ahead though. Oh, man! Why? As soon as, cause I gotta tell this part. As soon as she was like, "Oh, I think we're um, you're re we're ready to push. He's ready to come out of there." You know, this is right before he's out of there. He's still in there. She stops, turns around. A nurse hands her a whole jumpsuit. Like, oh yeah. Has that yeah, jumpsuit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just <laughs> like. It I'm was her like it was it was so <laughs> it was so hilarious because like I, I was like do I need one of those like what <laughs> right like I feel like most people at this I point are real that. serious but she like had this little like full jumpsuit and like, it had like um, one of those clear face masks yeah that goes and the down. way she put it on like, you know, like oh, I wish I would have recorded it was you just know. like shoom and she put it like, <laughs> she turned around with put her little helmet thing down and she was ready to go she was full jumpsuit yep, i was yep. just like wow it was serious you know? i like how they had everything set up it was really like at a fast pace like they they knew what to expect and then the bottom of the bed kind of opens up so they can catch you know anything foreign the placenta anything come out of it and, you know you know, that's if we want to keep his placenta, you know. I had some creative things. I just wanted to see it. it. I just wanted to see it. But it was, I mean, we would not keep that. So. Yeah, TMI. Um, so as he was getting like weighed and all that other kind of stuff, I was getting stitched up. I didn't tear, which was like a fear of mine. I didn't tear. Um, I had like little small, like small tears, if that makes sense. And I didn't tear down. I teared up. Who knew you could tear up? Um. Yeah, so it was just like little small, like real small. Like I basically was like great. I'm over there looking at him, you know, sitting on the table. He's this little fragile little thing. Mm. And he, they're just, um, um, they're cleaning him up. They gave him his first bath, which I watched. You know, she combed all the, um, when he came out, for some reason, he had like his own feces that he had <laughs> yeah, cause he pooped in, in his hair. He pooped in so the they cleaned womb. that out of his hair because, you know, poop in the womb. 
And then they, you know, they cleared his, his lungs, but they said, you know, they didn't really have to do much. They were yeah. already cleared. He came out screaming, so he was yeah. fine. Um, he was, I feel like he was ahead of the curve a lot. Um, you know, he, he was... Uh, he was born August 28th, 2018 at 9, 13. In the morning. And he was 6 pounds and... Was he 7? Six seven or six eight? It wasn't. It was I think it six, was seven. it was six seven. Yes, yeah. six six pounds seven ounces. Mm -hmm. He was a long baby. He was what he 21, was... 22 inches. So mind you, this video is uh, very late. He's a lot bigger now. Yeah. Big boy. Oh, this is Liam's. Say hi, Liam. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Mm -hmm. Say Talking hi. Talking about your birth, son. So you can watch this later, and you know what happened. Say hi. <laughs> So, um, it's like before you know it, um, before you know it, we're um, in our own little room by ourselves, us and the baby, and, um, He's smiling. you know, I think, I'm not sure, did you start breastfeeding right away? Yes, he latched on right away. Yeah. So after she cleaned him up and stuff, um, she said if I wanted to, I can try breastfeeding, he latched right away. And so that was good because I was worried about that too. So you didn't have any issues with that. Yeah, my main issue was just trying not to pass out. You know? <laughs> I, was, I was not eating like I was supposed to. Uh, you know, I did. Her, her uh, parents did bring me like some chicken and um, you know breakfast and stuff like that. But I, I feel like I couldn't really eat all of it like I should have been eating. Um, just like nibbling at everything and drinking a lot of juice and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But um. Yeah, so I was just trying to stay ten toes to the to the ground and just so stay up. um like he said before I didn't cry like when they first put him on me mm -hmm. so it really took a while for it to kind of like hit yeah, me so after yeah after we got moved to the next room all of our family went home and it was just like us in the just room us three. and we had a moment to kind of just like take it all in mm -hmm. then the, yeah waterworks and i was just like crying i was like, just like yo we have a kid we did it you are great i just wanted him to know that it like he was just so wonderful so supportive and yes, it was just everything yes, i could have <laughs> asked for <laughs> it was great you're falling buddy um so yeah it was that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that's our birth story. Um, I will insert clips and pictures and videos of the little, little babies, the little babies. Mm -hmm. What do you think he looks like? Ugh. What do you look like, buddy? Uh. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. Um, I think he's like a perfect mix of both of us. Yeah. Especially uh. if you, if... If, we, if you can see your baby pictures, oh, man. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, mm -hmm. um, you know, leave us a comment down below. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like this video. Mm -hmm. Subscribe so you can see more videos of us and the cute little one. Sorry if the video was bad quality. Our camera died, and we really need to invest in getting another battery. Yeah. Um, are we going to do Vlogmas? I don't know if we're going to do Vlogmas because we don't do anything. And that's a lot of vlogging to do. I don't know what that is. Basically, you vlog every day until Christmas. So, yeah. If you guys want to see Vlogmas, go to work. comment down below. <laughs> your project. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. I guess I didn't just